Welcome to Juice It Up. Today I'm going to teach my students how to make an energy juice. We are going to use a mason jar to pour it in all of these cups. A mason jar is a great way to hold your juice whenever you need it. This is one of my students, Allie, and she's going to tell you all about the ingredients. First, you need half a pineapple, and keep in mind that they can be pre-cut. Also, you will need two, two to three medium pears and two to three medium apples. You'll also need a juicer to juice this. This is one of my students named Kai, and he will tell you all about the directions. Before you put the apple and the pear in the juicer, you need to cut around both their cores, and that helps prevent clogging in the juicer with the seeds and the hard stem of the core. This is another one of my students named Emmy, and she's going to tell you the rest of the directions. If you have a whole pineapple, then you can cut it in half and peel one of the halves. And after you've done that, you can cut the half into smaller pieces. This is another one of my students named Allison, and she's going to help me with the juicing part. So what we do is we take a couple pieces of each fruit, and we put it in the juicer. Once we've done that, we take the juice. So then you put this on, and you press the button, and you juice it all the way down. Keep repeating until all of your juice is made. And when, it all, when we're all done, we're going to pour it in these cups so we can all have a taste. And then once we're done with that, we're just going to keep on juicing. Action. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, what? guys, is there anything you guys have learned about this juice that you guys have researched? Parents have <laughs> Glucose, which will help boost your energy. Pears are also rich in antioxidants. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyone else? The tropical tango juice can bring down a fever, help with arthritis, and even protect you from cancer. Mm -hmm. 